quick I wanted to talk about how to catch crawdad and uh, this is a small quick little crawdad trap that I made and it's just out of some yarn and then you throw this out into the water and the crawdads crawl all over this. I'm going to show you why I use, use it like this because you bend the wire and it'll hold your bait. These are some sardines and it'll hold your bait together and it'll hold it all together and then the crawdads can fight over it. Now, uh, another way to catch crawdads, if you have a, a fish or some bait that won't just flake and fall apart, you can just tie your string around that, throw that into the water, and uh, the crawdads will all fight over it. Then just pull your string slowly to the shore, and uh, the crawdads think some other crowd is trying to take it away from them, so they hold on real tight. This bait, though, was, we, uh, would fall apart if we used that method. Now, over here is a crawdad trap that I made, and I just made it out of rabbit wire, and this bungee cord just keeps the uh, door shut. This rope, of course, I, that's how I reel it back in, and you need something, a little cage like this, to hold your bait all together, and uh, I'll shut this back up. And then how they get in, they go up this ramp, and then they go, fall in and they can't get back out. And so this is what I made. You just got to make sure that it sinks. They can get in, knock it out, and something will keep your bait all together. So that's more of a, a large scale there. Now, uh, I'm going to use my bait here, and I'm going to feed it to my crawdads in my little crawdad farm. And... You need to have the water aerated. We're at about 40 degrees here. Because it's winter. I got these crawdads in the winter. And the larger crawdads go down to deeper water and larger rocks. We'll see if we can see any in here. Any crawdads in the house? No, but this is a crawdad house. And uh, you just drill some holes and attach together the PVC and a honeycomb like this and it gives them a place to hide because they'll fight with each other. Maybe you can see some of those little baby crawdads. There's about a dozen of them in there and they'll be eating those sardines now. But uh, over here is a shoal of clams, freshwater clams. If you like clams, it's good to do your raise your own because they can um, concentrate any uh, anything that's toxic in the water. So you might want to grow your own clams. And uh, so there's a little bit on catching crawdads, raising crawdads, and raising clams. Have fun.